Hey everybody, I'm Ginger Birkenbuehl, CEO of Burke Creative and the host of the Honest Field Guide podcast, back to talk more about lip balms. This is my review series on lip balms. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're deciding to come here and watch my content. So I am really excited because I am a lipstick, lip balm, and lip gloss fanatic. But right now I'm really focusing on lip balms because as I said in my intro video, I'm obsessed with lip balm. I have clients that are obsessed with lip balm at my agency, and I have three sons, two of which are obsessed with lip balm. So I've already reviewed one, and in between my review of each lip balm, I am using a cotton swab to wipe my mouth clean of the previous lip balm, just so you know that I'm not putting lip balm over lip balms. Otherwise, it's like, it's like wine tasting. You have a sip of wine, have a sip, another sip of wine, and you have the two wines mixing together. I don't wanna do this with my lip balms. So anyway, um, I'm right now going to review Burt's Bees. This is the grand poobah of lip balm. There are so many Burt's Bees all over every single pharmacy, every single grocery store, all over Amazon. And of course, everybody that has lip balm has Burt's Bees in their purse or wallet or backpack or pocket or whatever. So anyway, I picked up the like kind of straight up Burt's Bees from Amazon. Um, this is the ultra conditioning version because I actually need a lot of moisturizer and we are he heading into the winter cold season. And so um, using, you know, non thick lip balms may not really be my choice. Um, and maybe they are your choice. I don't know. And I don't wear lipstick as much as I used to because I really just want to have my lips feeling like, hmm. So anyway, I'm about to review this one and the way I've been doing it is I really just, and by the way, this one actually has two in it. So you've got like, there's two. These two right here came in this one container, which I think is fantastic. Um, and I love it. I really do love the packaging. I might as well make mention. The packaging is clean. It's easy to see the words. You can read exactly what's on here. And I just reviewed a different one and it's hard to, for me to actually see it. So anyway, I'm gonna try this one. And, and I do these in real time. Like I don't like, I don't script these. These are not scripted. I don't, prepare, I don't prepare in advance. Like I was watching a Kevin Hart video yesterday with some other comedian and, and he was complaining because the guy wasn't like, didn't, didn't do enough research to prepare in advance. It actually made me laugh. So I don't do like a ton of research. I just do it as I go. And I'm doing this as I go because otherwise I'm like, is it really a true review if you're not doing it as you go? So anyway, okay. Burt's Bees. Let's try Let's see what happens because I'm like, I'm, this is one of my favorites. Uh, okay, let's see how it feels. Oh my gosh. You know what? Oh my God. I never really like concentrated hard enough before, but wow. This is so decadent. Mmm. This is decadent. This is decadent. This is, this is decadent. I thought, I don't know. This is going to be, this is going to be in my top, my top five. That's it. That's, that's it. It's going to be in my top five. This lip balm is like, damn, is Bert still alive? Bert, where are you at, Bert? This is working. I'm, I'm telling you, this is fantastic. Highly recommend. Mmm. Can you see the shine? Please subscribe to my show. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go on to my next review after I wipe my lips with my alcohol mixture here. See you soon. I'm Ginger Birkenbuehl.